Yeah, so this morning I, I rode my bike up to the shop to get us rolling for the day, and there was a hole in our wall. Um, upon some questioning, I found out that apparently a driver crashed through our wall at 3 a.m. last night. And was there anyone hurt? To the best of my knowledge, no one was hurt, but details are scarce. Okay, and was there a, like a lot of damage on the inside or? Yeah, it's, it's really hard to tell the amount of damage that's occurred to our building. Um, there's definitely some structural damage and a hole in the wall and we're waiting for some adjusters to come and tell us how the rest of the, the wall is looking. The fire department said that the damage isn't structural. And the police didn't contact you last night? Uh, they left an impound notice and then this morning I was able to call and, and have a conversation with a police officer. You know, we are getting ready for our Holiday Kids Bike Giveaway where we're planning on giving away 570 bikes. That's part of what I was coming here to do this morning. And um, without a doubt, it's an obstacle to having a successful giveaway. And so we definitely need uh, the community's help in making sure that we can get there and we can make 570 dream bikes come true for kids. Um, we don't know really what the financial cost is gonna be of this accident yet. And so once again, we're asking for the community's help to make sure that this event's successful. In what way can the community help you right now? Uh, the community can support by going to BoiseBicycleProject.org and adopting a dream bike that would be sponsoring a bike for one of the kids for the giveaway or just by donating money to our project. Um, you can do that by going to our website and going to donations or by giving us a call or coming down. So we're getting ready for our 17th annual Holiday Kids Bike Giveaway where we're hoping to give 500 plus bikes away to kids. Um, this is definitely an obstacle on the way and we think we need our community support. We don't know what the financial cost of this accident is going to be to make sure that we have a successful event this year. Um, the other thing that I would ask the community to support with is this is a great example of why we're advocating for safe streets for all. We can't just give kids or families bicycles. We need to make sure that streets are built for them, that there's good infrastructure, that there's good policy, and that there's enforcement to make sure that it's safe to be on our roads.